All right, here's the in-class work for 922. Uh, when we look at delta math, ooh, I should probably put this so it doesn't rotate. When we look at delta math, these are all the things we have to do this year. Um, so far, we've been working specifically with solving equations. Uh, we've been working specifically with that one, and when we open that one up, no, no, this is what it looks like. When we open that one up, this is what solving equations looks like. This is all the things we've been working on. Basically, we've been working on algebra. Algebra is the ability to use uh, variables to solve equations. And if we go back to the main step, um, we've been working on solving equations. But um, we could have started with pre-algebra, which is like the baby steps into solving equations. So just to make you feel good and not to think you think that you haven't learned anything this year, even if you're struggling on your grade report, here's what was in pre-algebra. Uh, Pre-algebra, these are all the things that doesn't look like we've done, but yeah, we have. So I'm going to take a couple terms. I'm going to take a couple problems from there, from there, from here, from here, and from here, um, because basically that's all of the things. And I'm going to show you that, yeah, you do know some things. So here's what we did in class today, just some easier stuff that your grade could be a lot higher if we had just done these. So here's some of those examples. Let's do problem number one. So in your notebook, write these down, follow along, and then turn it in, and you'll get uh, for today's work. This is where it says in class work, and you'll get credit for it. Uh, number one, what is the value of the expression below when, so we'll say number one, what is the value of the expression below when y equals 10? Well, if we just very simply plug in 10 for that, so we take 5y, and instead of y, we're saying y is 10. So we can put parentheses in 10 for y, and plus 3. So what does this equal when y is 10? We say uh, 50 plus 3 equals 53. So I did the first one. You do the second one, which is this one. What is the value of 6x plus 5 when x equals 10? Do that. So do number 1, do number 2. Uh, number 3 was... Um, which of these, ex number three, which of these, these are the answers down here, is equivalent to s plus s minus 4s? I think we know that those are like terms. So we have 1s, and now we have plus another s is 2s, minus 4s is negative 2s, and that would have been that one. So you can uh, basically just write down s plus s minus 4s. And then if we go to this one, I won't do this one, given the same things, which of, uh, if you simplify this up here, which of these are those? Uh, well, this will be problem number four. Show your work. Now, one thing, let's say I get down to an answer, and this won't be the answer, but let's say I get down to the answer uh, 16f plus 3, or I'll even say, let's say I get to the answer 16f minus 3, which is not right. But I have two terms here. I have the 16f and I have the minus 3. Those can be written in any order. So this is the same thing as minus 3 plus 16f. It doesn't matter which order you write the terms in. So if you get this answer and it's not there, see if you can rearrange the terms and it's one of these four. All right, show that answer. Number five uh, was distributing. So these number five, we'll do this one. Uh, remember, we have this term times this term. And this term times that term. So I could say 10 times 5v is 50v. 10 times positive 3 is plus 30. Pretty simple. Go ahead and do number 6. This one should be pretty easy. Number 7. Uh, what if we do basically two problems at once? So this one will be number 7 up here. Basically, you do this problem. This guy, the plus 3s, has nothing to do with it, so he makes it down to the next level. And then we have this problem over here that's all the same problem. So once you, put, once you have the answers, you combine all the like terms, and those should add up to something, uh, something by itself. See if you can do that one. Uh, over here, this one is it's called distributing, we'll say number 8. This one's just like distributing right here. This is a distribution problem. 
But uh, let's see. Let me erase that. But there's no number. There's no number like right here. So what do we multiply by? Uh, actually, it's just an invisible one. So we can just multiply by the negative. So right here, I just take the negative and I say, okay, what's a negative times another negative? Well, that would be a positive 3q. And what's a negative times another negative 4? Well, that would be positive 4. So only the sign switches. So it's a negative 3.4p plus 3q minus 4. None of those can combine with each other because they're all different terms, and that's the answer. So this is called distributing a negative. And you can do it in this problem right here. And we'll do this like so many times in your, in your math career. So take this negative and distribute it into there for number nine. And finally, number 10, uh, do the same thing, but now combine these. So number 10, there's nothing to do. There's nothing out here to multiply by, so we can just get rid of these. But now when we say minus, we have to, before we say minus something, we actually have to do this minus and this one, which makes it a plus, and which then this one. So let's see if you can figure out the rest of that problem and then combine everything together. So the whole point of today was to realize all of this stuff came from here. It's a lot easier than what we've been doing. And it's what normal classes would have done first, and we didn't do it. Because I thought, if you can do this, you can do this. So if you're struggling, if your grade isn't that high um, right now, don't worry. We we're going a little fast. We're going a little fast. By the time, if you keep doing your homework, if you stay up on your classwork and your homework, I will let you make up the test that we are here. And the only real difference between what's over on this side versus what's over the solving equations is over here, Uh, where is it? The only thing is all of these in what we're doing are equal to something, like equals 5, equals 10, and we have to solve. So all of these ones don't equal anything. But uh, there's your, there's your in-class work. Get those done, and take a photo, turn it in, and you get your points for today. All right, later.